Two men have been jailed for their part in an environmental protest that closed part of the M25 last October. They scaled the QE2 bridge at Dartford, closing it for 40 hours and disrupting thousands of motorists from the region. Alex Dunlop was following the case at South End Crown Court. What, what's your intentions? The moment that police confront Morgan Troland and Marcus I'll Decker as they start to here? scale the Dartford crossing. No, are you here in protest? The Just Stop Oil protesters unfurled a banner and slung themselves in hammocks high above the Thames to highlight what they say is government inaction over climate change. Decker sang as he was brought down 36 hours later, but today no reaction from him or Troland as they were jailed for causing a public nuisance. But the disruption they caused was immense. Hundreds of thousands of people affected. I absolutely empathise and understand uh, that what happened was inconvenient and under no ordinary circumstances it would not be acceptable. But we are not in ordinary circumstances. This is an all-out emergency and in emergencies people do things they wouldn't ordinarily do. The bridge closure last October meant chaos and misery for thousands. People missed funerals and hospital appointments. Last month, Just Stop Oil protesters only received suspended sentences after invading the track at last summer's Silverstone Grand Prix. But the protest in Northamptonshire lasted just a few seconds. The one over the Thames was far more disruptive, which is why today the judge jailed Troland for three years and Decker for two years and seven months. He said they had to be punished for the chaos they caused and to deter anyone from copying them. You plainly believed you knew better than anyone else. In short, to hell with everyone else. These stop oil protesters say they're not deterred by today's sentences, and that they're not ruling out protests at Sunday's London Marathon. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East, South End.